We provide a huge range of different products uh, for, for our clients. We install a large proportion of them, but where we don't have the knowledge or the specialisation, we will always bring in someone else. So in regards to wood burning stoves, we use a guy called Darren. And he's absolutely excellent and provides a, an amazing service. You can get a lot of heat out of the stove uh, and they, they're much more efficient devices, often up to around 80% uh, of efficiency. Um, but several things come as part of that. Um, you need to have very, uh, very correctly dried wood, 20% moisture wood. Um, uh, and you, you've got t t uh, two air controls down under, underneath here, um, one which brings us the air in from underneath and one which will uh, inject air in further up uh, into the stove. And you can see these little air holes in the back of the stove there, which will mean that the wet, when, once the, the, the woods are light, uh, oxygen is injected into the stove further up, which encourages a secondary burn, which reduces the, uh, the emissions that are going up the chimney uh, and, and gets more out of the, out of the content of, of the wood there. First of all, obviously, you, know, you, are, you are getting a renewable energy into your home, which helps you to reduce your, your carbon footprint and helps you to do the right thing environmentally. Um, uh, and with, with a wood stove like this, rather, as opposed to an open fire, you've got 75% of the heat coming to the room rather than 75% of the chim going up the chimney, which is what happens with a traditional open fire. There's, there's, there's lots of different aspects of why, why I see this is a good thing to do. You know, reduces your carbon footprint, builds uh, local resilience within the community because obviously you can, with this, you, your gas supply, you know, you're not running on gas, which is coming from, you know, the North Sea or possibly further afield, Russia and beyond. You know, it's coming, it can come from as local as you can find your, find your wood, which half the time can be from local parks, local trees, uh, from the street that you live that have to have, you know, maintenance and thinnings dealt with. Uh, plus, not, not to mention the, uh, the enormous amount of, um, of just waste, skipped wood that's going on. Wood burning stoves mean that on a job like this, we take down a stud wall and uh, we've got loads of 100 year old timber. Now instead of putting it in a skip, which costs us money, uh, we get to cut it up, the client gets to stack it, uh, store it in the, in the side of their house, and then during the winter months, they get to burn it. There's no uh, carbon cost involved in that, just a little bit of arm work in terms of the saw to cut it down. And uh, then you've got a lovely, gorgeous uh, log fire to look at during the uh, Christmas period. For, and another good thing, which I really like about it, is that you can build a direct relationship with, you know, with, with wood, which connects you to, you know, has, you have some kind of relationship to the natural world through that, you know. You know, whether, you, you can take lots of different approaches. You can just, you know, go online and buy, buy your wood exactly as it should be. Uh, and stack it and then burn it as you like. But you can also, if you know, that's the kind of person that you are, get more involved and f fight not only forage for your own wood, collect your own wood, you, you, know, you, you then have to you know, cut it up how you want it. You can, have to, you, you can chop it if you want, which I, I really enjoy splitting wood, it's great. But, and, um, and then you, can, you have to stack it and then you have to um, season it over a year or two. And, uh, and you just have a bit of, bit of interaction really with, with things locally really. And uh, for me, that's a really good thing, a good product that you get out of it, which you may not get out of other, other renewables in quite such the same way.